Okay, a plane flies from London Heathrow Airport to Dubai International Airport, a distance of approximately 5,500 km at an average speed of 1,000 km per hour. The return trip was made at an average speed of 1,050 km per hour. Find the average speed of the whole journey. Good. This is a good question. Um, Okay, look at the keywords. The question is asking about average speed. Anyway, you keep on talking about average speed, average speed. So, first of all, we must understand what is actually average speed, right? Now, what is the definition of average speed? What do you know about average speed? Uh, average speed, okay, uh, we have average velocity here, right? Uh, average velocity and instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity means velocity at a certain time, at specific time. Uh, that one we use gradient at certain point, DSDT, yeah? Gradient at certain point of the displacement graph. Okay? Uh, that is instantaneous velocity. But average velocity is velocity for a certain period of time. Uh, for instantaneous velocity, is velocity at certain time. But average velocity has a certain period of time. Ah, so uh, the formula for average velocity is uh, total displacement. We must find out the total displacement divided by the total time taken. Ah, so that is a uh, velocity. But if this one average speed means we just change this total displacement into total distance. Uh, total distance over total time taken. That's, that's it. Okay, write it down here. Average, average speed means what? Means is total distance traveled divided by total time taken. Okay, uh, that is the the total time means the, that period of time uh, That period of time. Uh, so average velocity, we use total displacement over total time. But average speed, we use total distance over total time. Yes, huh? Okay. Uh, that, that, that is our main formula. Okay. Uh, okay. And then we need to, uh, actually we need to draw out the diagram to help us with our question here. Okay. It, the plane flies from London to Dubai. How's, what's the total distance? Ah, 5,500 uh, kilometer. Uh, that is the distance. Okay, that is the distance. Uh, with uh, uh, this average speed. And then return trip. This is a return trip at this average speed. So, I want to find the uh, average speed of the whole journey. Uh, okay. Draw, draw a diagram first. Why, why afraid to draw a diagram? Uh, draw a diagram first. So this is a London airport and this is a uh, Dubai airport. So now uh, this, uh, he said uh, from London to Dubai, the distance is 5,500 kilometer. Right? Uh, from uh, yeah, let me draw, let me draw it properly. Uh, yeah, like that. From London to Dubai. The distance is uh, 5,500 uh, kilometer. Uh, okay. And then he say uh, travel from, um, from London to Dubai. From London to Dubai. Uh, the average speed. The average speed is uh, 1,200 kilometer per hour. Understand? Ah. Uh, and then, uh, uh, when the return, the return trip, the return trip is uh, 1,050. Means Dubai back to London, the return trip. Understand? Uh, this is the return trip. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, the average speed is uh, 1,050 km per hour. Uh, so, this is the return trip. So now we want to find the whole journey. That means go and back. Uh, go, go Dubai and return from Dubai. Uh, the whole journey. Uh, we want to find the whole journey. So, first of all, uh, 
if we want to find the whole journey, okay, so we can write it over here. Yeah. So if we want to find the average speed of the whole journey, what we need, what do we need? What do we need? Average speed of the whole journey means what we need means the total distance of whole journey. Total distance of whole journey. Ah, so it is uh go to Dubai is 5,500. Go back from Dubai to London is also 5,500, isn't it? Ah, okay, you say from London to Dubai, a distance of 5,500. Ah, yeah, go to Dubai, 5,500. Go back from Dubai to London is 5,500. So we must uh, total distance is uh, total up the whole journey. That means times two, isn't it? Ah, 5,500 plus 5,500. That is the total uh, total distance. Okay, we got we got it covered. Uh, we already got the total distance. Now we need the total time. Do we have the total time here? Do we have? Do we have total time? No, we only have the average speed. Uh, we only have the average speed. We don't have the total time. Uh, so we need to find out what is uh, uh, what is the time? What is the time T1 uh, for uh, from London to Dubai? Uh, T, that's T1. And then we need to know the time from Dubai to London. That is uh, T2. Uh, so we put it here T1 plus T2. The total time taken. Okay? So this is for the whole journey. You understand? This, this everything here is for the... This everything here is... Uh, the total distance, uh, uh, we can say the total distance of whole journey, the total time for whole journey. Understand? Because we want to find average speed of whole journey. So this all of this is about whole journey. The total distance of whole journey, total time for whole journey. Uh, but we don't have T1 and T2. So how are we going to find T1 and T2? Ah, so... Ah, so we but we have this we have this you see we have uh, this average speed for the go go to Dubai and average speed uh, return from Dubai uh, we can put this as um this is V A one uh, V A two lah uh, okay uh, put as V A one and V A two uh, let let's find out let's find out lah let's find out T one and T two yeah so V A uh, Every speed for number one. Uh, this is actually uh, the the trip from London. Oops, what is this? From London to Dubai. Okay, trip from London to Dubai. The average speed. Uh, me like that. Uh, average speed from London to Dubai. Uh, it is um one two zero zero kilometer per hour isn't it uh, so what is the total distance total distance from london to dubai 5500 isn't it uh, we want to find uh, based on this formula uh, all this based on this formula uh, okay uh, all based on this formula very easy if you know the concept then it's easy for you Okay, so from London to Dubai, what is the total distance? What five thousand five hundred? I can put as kilometer now. Mind, no need to change. Yeah, but the answer in meter per second later on. Ah, uh, meter per second. So later we need to change lah. Later we need to change. In the, we change in the end. Yeah. Uh, or here we can maintain as uh, kilometer per hour first. In the end we can change to meter per second. Okay, so put as uh, five thousand five hundred here. Uh, the distance from London to Dubai, the total distance from London to Dubai is uh, 5,500. Uh, what's the total time? Uh, we need to find the total time. Isn't it? Uh, just put as T1. So, T1, uh, you get in, uh, the answer in hour. You understand? You'll get the answer in hour because your unit still in, um, you know, kilometer, kilometer. Kilometer per hour. See that? Uh, so you get answer in hour. Okay, so let's calculate. Let's calculate. Uh, so this one becomes what? This one becomes uh, 5,500 over 1,200. So what's the answer? 
uh, what's the answer 5500 divided by 1200 so the answer is uh, uh, 4.58 uh, 3 3 hour uh, so that's a uh, time 1 now let's find the time 2 let's find the time 2 yeah so uh, do the same thing do the same thing every speed for uh, 2 uh, it is uh, from Dubai back to London from Dubai back to London uh, it is uh, 1050 uh, 1050 kilometer per hour uh, okay so uh, the, the return trip the total distance also 5500 right 5500 uh, uh, kilometer so we got our time 2 so our time 2 will be uh, just 5500 divided by 1050 takes now your your speed is less right yeah last time your speed is higher speed is higher so it take a shorter time so your speed is slower now slower now so you should take a longer time lah you should take a longer time see is it correct uh okay, yeah so the time now is longer uh you travel slower yeah you travel slower now uh yeah two three eight one hour i uh, take a longer time okay so for the whole journey average speed for the whole journey uh so we got the time ready for each each uh, trip so just now you just use it for the whole journey uh, total up the distance total up the time so the uh it becomes what uh five five zero zero plus five five zero zero kilometer uh, uh the unit must write uh, you must write the unit uh and the T1 is uh, 4.8 uh, 5833 plus uh, 5.2381. Uh, this one is in hour. Yeah, in hour. Yeah, this kilometer. Uh, hour. Yeah. For the whole journey. Uh, for the whole journey. Uh, okay, so uh, what's the answer? Okay, let's calculate. Let's calculate. Uh, yeah, it is a one one two zero uh kilometer per hour. Uh, but the answer in what in meter per second, right? Uh, you have to change to meter per second. You have to change to meter per second. So this one is a one one two zero kilometer per one hour so uh, it is one one two zero zero uh, exponent uh, exponent three one hour is 60 minute times 60 second right uh, or this one is 3600 second isn't it uh, so uh, okay so uh, become Kilometer become meter, so exponent 3 lah. So, okay. Divide. Let's calculate. Uh, okay, it is a 311.11 meter per second. The answer, is it correct? The answer? Yes, it's correct. 311.11, 311.11. That's correct. That's the answer C. Uh, many students, oh, you have uh, want to find average speed for the whole journey. You have two average speed, go go to and return, a uh, return trip. So we just divide lah. That means uh, we just find uh, plus these together, plus these two together and divide by two. Yeah, some of you are, uh, may, I think many of you lah, many of you lah. You will just find what? Oh, you got two ah. Uh? So you just oh one two zero zero plus. Uh, 1050 divided by 2 find average speed without any physics knowledge without any physics knowledge uh, plus and divide yeah don't uh, don't know about the definition of average speed uh, this is what you do yeah just stand back uh, yeah you got 1125 kilometer per hour uh, uh, and then change to meter per second yeah look at the, the difference in the answer look at the difference in the answer 
Ah, see? Difference of 5, uh, five km per hour. Ah? Ah, this is uh, what students do. Yeah? This is what students do. Ah, what students do. Ah, without physics knowledge. Why without physics knowledge? Because they are lazy. Ah, they, I don't know. Yeah? Ah, so, this is, they just uh, total up and divide by 2. They don't know about the definition of average speed. It's total distance over, over, over total time taken. Huh? So, uh, this is how do you feel now yeah, when you see students do like this? How do you feel? That's what, how I feel when I see students do like this. Huh? Uh, I teach the proper things like this. And in the end, in the exam, students do like this. You see that? How do you feel if you are a teacher? How do you feel? If you are a teacher, how do you feel? And that's how I feel. Understand? Okay, that's all for this question.